Now let's talk about another one of the most underrated characters in Mortal Kombat, Ermac. Now of course Ermac was created by Shao Kahn. You remember when Shao Kahn used to use dark art? <laughs> yeah, those times. Now Shao Kahn created Ermac from the souls of dead warriors. Many powerful dead warriors. So when you're fighting Ermac, you're fighting many people, just like Shang Tsung. And he'll tell you this himself. You are one, we are many. That alone makes Ermac very unique. I mean, when everyone saw this red ninja, they were hyped and he had his own unique moveset and a cool backstory. In fact, his best ending is probably in Mortal Kombat Deception, the original timeline. Keep in mind, Ermac was one of Shao Kahn's lackeys, one of his enforcers. For him to now switch up, train Kenshi and help out Liu Kang, good ending right there. In an outer chamber of the Dragon King's throne room, Ermac did battle with Liu Kang's enslaved comrades. Ermac was more than a match for the five warriors, but their defeat was not his objective. Liu Kang materialized and one by one freed their souls while Ermac occupied the rest. Eventually, all five were awakened from their enchantment and freed from Onaga's control. Ermac was pleased that his warrior's skills could for once bring about a noble outcome. He sensed, however, that an ominous force still shaped the destiny of the realms. It was everywhere. He could feel its influence on Onaga, though the Dragon King was oblivious to its manipulation. Time was running out. Ermac feared the celebration of this latest victory would be short-lived. And there you see there was more to this Ermac character. He wasn't just some random lackey. Dude had his own way of thinking and did his own thing. But when it came to the new timeline, dude jumped right back into Lackey City. MK9, I mean, decent showing, but for the most part he was an enforcer a gatekeeper used to put other characters over and MKX where well, they straight up doubled down on that shit and made this guy a complete 100% lackey one minute working for Melina then working for Kotal Khan bowing down come on Ermac we would serve the new ruler of Outworld then you serve Koto Khan. Yup, some lackey shit and of course, wasn't too great for him in this game, took losses to characters he shouldn't be losing to, got bodied in his own ending. <laughs> Bad look for Ermac, but a cool character regardless. his powers and abilities. Now, of course, what separates Ermac from the bunch is his telekinesis, very powerful warrior. Okay, soul manipulation, energy projection. Of course, this guy can fly, rip you apart. You get the picture. These are many warriors combined. Hell, King Jared's in there somewhere. <laughs> Notable victories and feats. Well, of course, as a gatekeeper slash journeyman, he has taken a lot of L's, but at the same time, he has some wins and he's shown feats. His biggest wins would include Jax. He overpowered him with his telekinesis. Keep in mind, Jax is very strong physically.
this is. We are many. You are one. Your abilities fail before us. Talk to them. But of course, back in Deception, which is what I said earlier, shows you his greatest strength. Right here, he was able to take on five opponents at once. Ermac was more than a match for the five warriors, but their defeat was not his objective. Liu Kang materialized and one by one freed their souls while Ermac occupied the rest. And of course, he washed Ashura in the Nether Realm. So yeah, back in the day, dude was with the shits and if written properly, should be very powerful. Overall, I think Ermac is actually a sick character. But once again, too many characters to juggle and he falls along the way just like Reptile, Rain and all the others. Here you have a character with unique moves, unique fatalities, good backstory. People rate Ermac out of 10. He is many warriors, their souls fused into one being. Behold, Ermac! Very Liu Kang, he is unlike anything you have fought before. Being put over Kang, by Raiden. You are the sole Earthrealm warrior to progress to this final stage of the tournament. I am ready. We are many. You are one. We will destroy you. Where is Ermac now? Well, you saw him in the crypt fall to his death, but that's most likely non-canon. What seems to be canon is his actual MKX ending where Shang Tsung killed him by stealing his souls. Shang Tsung even references this in some intro dialogues. I am also no friend of Ermax. You're suggesting we pay him a little visit? Something like that. Where's your soul, brother, Ermac? Why do you care, Earthrealma? Still owe him for my knee. <laughs> I killed Ermac and stole Jared's soul. So killing you will set my father free. If you could kill him, 